Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about heterotrophic nutrition. And in the previous lecture, we have discussed about what nutrition is and what is autotrophic nutrition. So now let's come to heterotrophic nutrition. So each organism is adapted to the environment. Each organism is adapted to its environment mean the environment which the organism is living in the form of nutrition the form of nutrition differs depending on the type and the availability of food material as well as how it is obtained by the organism. Okay, so for example, whether the food source is stationary such as grass, okay, or mobile such as a deer, would allow for differences in how the food is accessed and what is the nutritive apparatus used by a so the grass is eaten by cow and the deer is eaten by lion. So it depends whether the food is how accessed and what is the nutrition apparatus used by the cow and the lion. So there is a range of strategies. There is a range of strategies. by which the food is taken in food is taken in and used by the organism okay some organisms break down the food material outside the body and then observe it example like fungi like bread molds fungi like on bread molds yeast and mushroom so these are the organisms which breaks down the food outside the body others take in whole material others take in whole material and break it down inside the body break it down inside the body okay so what can be taken in and broken down depends on the body design and the functioning some other organisms derive nutrition from plants or animals without killing them this parasitic nutritive strategy is used by a variety of organisms like cascota, ticks, lich and liches. So this is how students, this is heterotrophic nutrition but basically is means from which the organisms drive their food depends on the type of organisms and type of the environment they are living in. So this was all about heterotrophic nutrition and in the next lecture we will discuss about the nutrition in human beings. So stay tuned for the next lecture on nutrition in human beings.